there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, Jim Potter here, and today we will be doing an unboxing of a blind date with a book that I got on Etsy. I'm sorry if you can hear the air conditioning in the background, it's going to be going for a while because it's 9 o'clock in the morning as of filming it, this, and it's already in the high 90s here in Texas, so I apologize that you can hear that, and it's causing some weird feedback with the mic. Uh, hopefully the audio is a little better in this one than it was in the last one, but uh, we shall see. As um, Also, I'm at my desk instead of over at the blank space of wall that I have because my cats broke my ring light. So I'm using a desk lamp and my webcam for right now. Just, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Alrighty. So let's get into this. This is from the... Let's see. The Curious Cat Studio on Etsy. I will link them down below. Oh, the tissue paper is really cute. The tissue paper is really cute. It's got little kitty cats on it. Super cute. And I did order two books. They had two options. They had a basic and a deluxe. So I'm not sure which is which because they kind of came in the same envelope. But here are all the cute things. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a candle. Oh, that's fun. So I have a little bitty candle. Kind of looks like something out of The Sims. It's a little bit melted because, like I said, I'm in Texas and it's, you know, a million and twelve degrees out here. And, ooh, chocolate-covered cookie bites. So um, I did have gastric sleeve. And as it's Saturday while I'm filming this, as of Thursday, I have been cleared for regular food. I don't have to eat purees or liquids or any of that, frankly, gross stuff. I can have regular food, so I will be trying these out. All right. Ooh, I like this. There's a little seal. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus. No, it's not going to focus. Um, it's got a little cat, and there's little stars and a moon in this kind of coppery wax. I like the green ribbon. And then on the front, it has a little note card and then a tag. And they both have the note card and the tag. So, like I said, I'm not sure which is which. I do believe uh, one of the books I requested was horror, and the other one was either romance or young adult. So I'll be able to tell which is which here in a minute, because my reading is rather varied. So let's go ahead and get into the one that was on top. If I can untie the bow. Okay. But that is really cute. Curious Cat Studio. And let's go into the little, and it says, to you, to you from the cat. And it says, here's Cat Studio. Their branding is on point. So. Woo! Oop. It's time for me to eat breakfast. My hands are starting to shake. But it came with a little sticker. And this is just a cute little bookmark with their branding on the back and a little leaf on the front. And it came with two, the London Tea Company Tropical Green Tea, which I do love tea. Tea is my vice. Um, tea or iced coffee are kind of my drinks of choice. Um, that being said, I'm from Texas, so iced tea is my go-to, but I do love hot tea as well. Um, Hot tea is like the only hot drink I'll drink. I'm not a big hot cocoa fan. I'm not a big hot cider fan. Um, hot tea, if I'm going to drink something hot. Not even coffee. I like my coffee iced because I am pansexual and queer. So, <laughs> all right. It's wrapped very snugly, very securely, which I like. Painting of Sarah DeVos by Dominic Smith. So, Amsterdam, 1631. 
Sarah DeVos becomes the first woman paint woman to be administered as a, to be admitted as a master painter in the city's Guild of St. Louis. The women do not paint landscapes; they are generally restricted to indoor subjects. A wintry outdoor scene haunts Sarah. She cannot shake the image of a young girl from a nearby village standing alone beside a silver birch at dusk, staring out at a group of skaters on the frozen river below. De defying the expectations of her time, she decides to paint it. And then we jump to New York City, 1957. The only known surviving work of Sarah DeVos at the edge of the wood hangs in the bedroom of, Will of a wealthy Manhattan lawyer, Marty DeGroote, a descendant of the original owner. It is beautiful, but comfortless landscape. The lawyer's marriage is prominent, but comfortless too. When struggling art history grad student Ellie Shipley agrees to forge the painting for a dubious art dealer, she finds herself entangled with its owner in ways no one could predict. Sydney, 2000. Now a celebrated historian and, and curator, Ellie Shipley is mourning and is mounting an exhibition in her field of specialization, female painters of the Dutch Golden Age, when it becomes apparent that both the original at the edge of the wood and her forgery are en route to the museum. The life she has carefully constructed threatens to unravel, unravel entirely and, irre, and irrevocably. This seems really good, actually. Like, I, I never have too much hope for the books themselves when I do a blind date with a book um, because you, you never know what you're going to get and I've done some that I haven't recorded because I couldn't even get through the book. So this one actually seems really interesting. I guess I su su selected historical fiction not romance. It could be romance, but I think it's historical fiction which I also like. I like everything. Um, the few things I don't like are uh, westerns and uh, mysteries. If a mystery is well written, I find myself figuring out the ending long before it's time to figure out the ending and then I'm just bored. So. Hi Malcolm. I have a cat here. It's Mr. Malcolm. He might jump up on the desk. Um, he likes to do that. So hopefully he doesn't. Right now he's chewing on the string. But this looks very interesting. I will give that a read and get back to y'all. So the second one, this must be my horror novel, because I'm 95% sure I selected a horror novel, unless that was a horror novel, in which case, interesting. So it has the same little tag, which is super cute, and I'll probably use as a bookmark. Hi, Malcolm. He's helping. But, Mr. Kitties. Whoa! It's time to get down. He is a very big cat. He has 16 pounds. So. <laughs> I, I am finally clear to lift him again. Ugh. Knots and my fingers trembling is not a good combination. So, okay. So we have another little envelope and it says to you from the cat. Which this one has the same tropical green tea, which again, I'm very excited about. And it has the same little bookmark, which um, Stephen, my partner, gets very upset when I use things that are not bookmarks, or rather use the side of a table or um, whatever I have handy as a bookmark instead of using an actual bookmark. So that will make him very happy. And it came with a little sticker, which I think is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So this one we have Starter House by Sonia Condit. From the moment Lacey glimpses into the dusty rose colonial cottage with its angled former with its angled dormer windows and quaint wooden shutters, she knows she's found her dream house. What, walking through the cozy room, she, the expected mother can see her future children sitting on the round bottom step of the house's beautifully carved staircase. She imagines them playing beneath a giant maple tree in the warm South Carolina sun. It doesn't matter to Lacey, her husband Eric, and her husband Eric, the people died here three years died there years before. I'm sorry, I'm very dyslexic. Um, reading is something I can do in my head very quickly and very efficiently, but when I try to do it out loud, it just never works. So I, I do apologize. <laughs> I'm struggling. Um, I did pass first grade. Um, I had to be tricked into reading. Uh, let me know if you want to hear that story. But yeah, um, I can read, just not out loud, apparently. But soon their warm and welcoming house turns cold. There's something malevolent within the walls, a disturbing presence that only Lacey can sense. 
and there is Drew, a demanding and jealous little boy who mysteriously appears when Lacey is alone. Protective of this enigmatic child who reminds her of the troubled students she used to teach, Lacey bakes cookies and plays games to amuse him, yet as, yet as she quickly discovers, Drew is unpredictable and dangerous. Fearing for her baby's safety, Lacey sets out to uncover the truth about Drew in her dream house. A search, answer, a search for answers that takes her into the past and in, into the lives of a long-dead family whose tragic secrets could destroy her. To save her loved ones, Lacey must find a way to lay the terrifying evil to rest before she, Eric, and their child become its next victims. That also sounds very good. So, um, uh, I've got cat hair on my face now. Thank you, Mr. Malcolm. <laughs> So, um, I'm actually very surprised and pleased with this one because, like I say, I'm very interested in the books. There have been times where I've gotten mystery books. I, I love un unboxing things and opening things. There have been times where I've gotten mystery books, um, and they just haven't, haven't been for me. Um, maybe a different audience or something else, but they just haven't been for me. And both of these seem right up my alley, so... And now to the important part of this unboxing, which is I'm opening these cookies because I have not had breakfast yet. So I'm going to have cookies for breakfast. I am a millennial. I remember Cookie Crisp. So, oh, yes. They're kind of stuck together, but that's okay. I like cookies. Mmm. They're very soft, and they're kind of dipped in white chocolate with sprinkles. It's a chocolate chip cookie, which is very simple, but it's done very well. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's perfectly soft. It's not crunchy, which I hate a crunchy cookie. There's, I know that's what tea and coffee and milk are for, but I just despise a crunchy cookie. And these are chef's kiss perfect. So uh, if you want to check them out, I will have the Curious Cat Shop linked down below um please give them some love because this is amazing both sets were absolutely phenomenal uh if you want to see me uh review the books once i've read them uh let me know down below and i will do that as well um have you read either of these books or is there a unboxing book recommendation service that you particularly like let me know down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!